have just demonstrated really two, two things. One, angular momentum. And two, I don't just spend one second. <laughs> from Colombia was born here, but I lived a little bit with my grandmother and in Colombia she used to say, Pedro, be careful with drug dealers. Don't become a mule. And I was like, why can't you say happy birthday? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really say that, but I felt like making that joke. Uh, so yeah, I grew up normal kid like everyone else. Uh, liked soccer, was good in school, uh, but as we all have things that happen to us, for some reason, you know, we we have things that, that led us uh, down the, the wrong path. Maybe in school I was playing soccer and uh, my partner scored a goal and I ran up to him, I was a happy-go-lucky kid, and I jumped on him and he turns around and pins me to the ground for like two minutes. He's like, don't ever do that again. I had no clue what he was saying. Like 30 years later in a class reunion, he told me I was choking him. And I had no clue. But that reaction kind of got me out of my comfort. And after that, I was kind of walking on eggshells, making sure I wouldn't uh, you know, displease anybody. And if, if maybe I was a odd kid from Columbia, out of the States, and new kid as well. But anyway, I retreated a little bit after that and started, you know, it, it affected me in school, at work, you know, in college at work where, you know, I'd be called on to speak and you know, my heart would raise, my hands would <clears throat> sweat, i forget to breathe. It was kind of, kind of embarrassing. Uh, but I didn't realize it for quite a while and I probably missed some promotions and some Opportunities that I should have had. And finally, I realized I wasn't doing the, the spin to win. I wasn't getting the most. 